Hello everyone. In earlier session, we have seen how to clear upper level blocks in BSO application and how to push data from BSO application to reporting application. In this session, we will see how to create aggregate views in ASO application to improve reporting performance. In order to improve the retrieval performance in ASO reporting, we can design aggregation. There is an option called query tracking. By default, it will be disabled. I can enable that. What does it mean? This is a very good feature. When this is enabled, system will track what are the frequently used combinations. Let me explain. I have selected total cost center. When I left double click or drill down, I am getting the data for other cost center members. And again, drill up. Now, system knows that I am looking for parent member information frequently for cost centers. And similarly, if I do a reporting retrieval on product member, now system knows that we need parent level information from cost center and product dimension. System is tracking our report requirements, our report retrieval movements. Before you want to design your aggregations, you can go through your reporting requirements and ask your users to retrieve the data for their frequently used reports. Now, system tracks that query information. So, let us see design aggregation now. System can recommend the views or you can design, materialize and save aggregations or you can use a saved aggregation. Click next. Replace existing aggregate view selection. If it is first time, you can do that. If you want to add to existing aggregate view selection, when do we need this? For example, we have run report retrieval on cost center and product dimension. So next time you might be doing some other reports which we haven't done in earlier query tracking time. So you can add those aggregate views also. I am selecting replace option now. Select all recommended aggregate views. You can do that. But I want to show you another example. Total storage space right now. Your level 0 input data is 0 0.0625. By default, ASO stores level 0 data and there is no existing aggregation data. It's 0 now. So, I want to say 1 MB. So, entire database space we can limit. Level 0 input size is this much and your aggregation storage together will be 1 MB. I am restricting the size also. Click next. You can click start system will bring all our retrieval information whatever we have retrieved it kept track of that information and how do we know what is the order what is all this this is account dimension this is time dimension the order of your dimensions in the outline so that way your cost center dimension is this i have counted this and this is our cost center dimension and this is our product dimension so these are different query retrieval information so this is nothing but we are aggregating certain combinations before retrieval itself now click next and save your aggregation as you can give maybe cost center aggregation. So whatever aggregation name you want to give and materialize aggregation. This is nothing but it will run the aggregation script also. If you want to replace existing aggregation fine and click next. So aggregation is saved. Aggregation process completed on database. Click finish. Suppose you don't want to use existing aggregations at all clear all aggregations redo your query tracking and redesign your aggregations this is uh, useful when aso reporting database size increases in this session we have seen how to design aggregation to pre-calculate few combinations of data in aso reporting this is not done in the script this is a wizard only thank you for watching we'll see you in next session